Bada me si ogo ni le olu yole, ilo ogun mola, ilo olo bodo keri keri lo jogu. Ah, eh, eh, kuru ibado. Yes, hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to another beautiful video. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to prepare a kuru. This time around, not just one a kuru. We have different types of a kuru. These are the two types of a kuru, and I'm sharing it with you right now. So let's ride on to how to prepare the two perfect a kuru. For this a kuru, you need beans and you need white beans. It's very, very advisable if you want to make your perfect a kuru. You use white beans. You can find them around. Some call it Sokoto. Some people call it uh, black eyes. This is perfect for a kuru. And the next step you're going to take is just normal. You add your water to your beans and start the washing process. For me to wash my beans, for easy washing of my beans, what I do first is immediately i pour my water in the beans i pour the water away now it's only the shaft that is going to get soaked the beans is still going to be very hard so in this process it's going to be very easy for me to quickly wash away the shaft and separate it from the beans itself so to wash your beans you just need to is this a way to wash your beans pour it in your palm like i'm doing right now and scrub it together your beans won't get broken or your beans tearing apart you are going to have a whole bean standing and that helps you to find it more easy to wash to separate the shaft from the bean so this is the best way i've employed if i if you don't have a blender to blend to wash away the shaft this is the fastest method you can just check out and watch in details how to wash these beans and by the when you're done Help scrubbing the beans you just add your water and the next thing you're going to do is just start sieving the shaft from the beans so this time we are done with washing of beans so you can see that it's so easy this is the fast method i've been using and it has really been very very good you're going to peel your beans that everything is going to be completely separated from the shaft and you are not going to feel, get any dirty is when your beans is broken in the course of soaking to peel that is when you find it difficult for you to peel your beans but once your beans is not broken you use this first method of quickly adding your water they pour out the water and wash it with your palm so make sure that you rub the beans together then you're going to get a perfect result on how to wash your beans so now guys can you see my beans we are done washing the beans i just want to be having perfect perfect i just want perfection honey so the beans is ready can you see you can't even find one dirt inside my beans you won't people wonder i wash beans and i wash very fast this is the best method if you're not using your blending machine so after washing, we move to the next steps. And the next step is the grinding process. You can grind at home or you can take it out to grind your beans. So I took it out and the green beans is, I've grinded my beans. Now you don't add pepper or you don't add anything to it. And if you want to grind, make sure there's no water. You can see I grind it like um, a form of um, trying to fry, trying to make it for frying of akara make sure your beans is thick you don't add excess water once you add your excess water you won't get that perfect a kuru result our white moi moi especially making this a kuru for my subscribers ah those of you that have supported me from the beginning of this vlogmas um hey vlogmas so easy ah hmm, if they tell you it's easy maybe the person eh hmm, let me see he has crew members that are actually helping out in doing some things but if you are one person one man mopo and you are do, doing the filming doing the addicting hey writing in the description um, writing tags. Ah, hey, hey. I say kudos to us. 
kudus and kudus. I saw when Ugom series yesterday. After a video, she was drinking wine. I said, Omo, see enjoyment. So let's continue with our Ekuru Ijebumotu Tigbede. This one a special Sunday recipe. This is what you need this Sunday to relax yourself. This special Ekuru. So once, it's, once it has been granted, one thing with Ekuru is the only thing eh, with Ekuru is the mixing. You have to, for Ekuru, you need mixing. Mixing is the main job. But if you have mixer, wow, that is going to make it very, very fast. Mixer will make it very fast. But if you don't have mixer, then you have to use manual method like this. You just have to turn and turn until it foams. It's going to have foams on top of the, um, the grinded um, white beans. So this is a continuing process you have to do for a very long time. And um, doing this is going to make the ikuru to get separated. It's not going to give this moi moi paste. It's going to be scattered when you are eating it. The first type of ikuru we are going to be preparing right now is the white moi moi. That is the white ikuru. Ikuru fufu. Laman kweni badon. We call it white ekuru. This is white ekuru. And to prepare the white ekuru, it's just the normal method. By after grinding, you mix, make sure you mix your beans thoroughly. Then you use your leaf. If you don't know how to wrap moi moi with leaf. And that was actually my first video on YouTube. You can check it out. How to wrap moi moi with leaf. In fact, it's a very detailed, perfect video explaining how to use your leaf to wrap your moi moi i explained so well so what we are doing right now if you've gotten your leaves now this season now we are moving towards nigerian dry season so the leaf is actually getting dried if you get to the market now if you are not careful if you buy leaves today and you want to use it the next day if you're not careful you're just going to see that everything is going to turn brown and and hard at the same time so you just make sure you get your moi moi leaf the same moi moi leaf the leaf they use in wrapping moi moi wrapping agidi jollof rice agidi that is echo yeah, going, that is what we are using right now. I want to say big thank you to everyone that I've watched to this point. I just say thank you. Kudos to you. Thank you because you guys gave me the courage, the boldness to continue on this channel. Without you, I can't do anything. I just want to say thank you for my returning subscribers. You guys are wonderful. You have really given me support on every side. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And if you're watching me for the very first time, oh, Mo, you are welcome. You've not mixed your rodo. This is the perfect channel. A channel you see now gets information Things that you never know oh, the perfect way to do it. I don't hide any secret. I'm going to share to the deeper secret of recipe. Sometimes I share recipe. Recipe is not the main niche in this channel. But sometimes I just feel there are some secret ingredients that need to be shared. And when I find out that they don't share it, I'm like, okay, let me bring it out and share it. Let them know how this recipe, how how this recipe is enjoyed and how it is being made if you are in Ibadan if you or you visit Ibadan tell them you want to buy a kuru they will ask you which type that's why you see we are featuring different types of a kuru in Ibadan so if you're if you have not subscribed, hey, and you are watching Ojo Lakpe Space, you can see that's why it wrote on that up. It says subscribe now, but that is not where you subscribe. Just check beneath the video. You are going to see where they write, where they wrote subscribe. Just click on that subscribe button and support Ojo Lakpe Space. Now, when you click the subscribe button, it does not cost anything. It does not remove your money. I'm having a lot of subscribers and i'm having a lot of views and they have not subscribed please if you've not subscribed 
click on the subscribe button so that every time I upload a new video, YouTube will recommend or show that video to you and also notify you that Ojo Lakwe Space have just posted a new video. So this is our white ekuru. We are still on the matter of white ekuru. And after you have packed everything, you wrap it up. <laughs> Normal way of wrapping for my mind. You just packed everything and wrap it up. Ekuru white is ready. Ekuru fufu is ready. So we now move to the next type of ekuru. Welcome to ekuru. Now to make our second type of ekuru, we need potash, corn, and the powdered one. I just have to put the one with them just to show you that that is corn. So you get a powdered corn. You add it to your grinded white beans. You add it to the grinded white beans and you continue to mix. Now, this is the process that you'll have done after you've mixed, mixed the beans very well after you have grinded it then the next thing you you add your add your potatoes come nioba i'm not going to the powdered one and you mix again once you've mixed that the next thing you're, you're going to be doing right now is the mixing make sure you mix very well because of the potash so that it can mix very well with the grinded beans and after you've done that then you get your leaf and wrap it like we did for the white moi moi in the first set. A kuru process is the same process as moi moi. But the only thing that makes it different is because when you're grinding your beans, you are not adding your onion, you're not adding your pepper, you are not adding anything to the beans. You are just going to grind it all. But another thing about a kuru is, when you have finished mixing your ekuru, you don't add salt. Ekuru is tasteless. You don't add salt. Then if you want to know how to eat ekuru, I made videos from my previous video, not the last video. I make a video, I think two years back, where I, I did the mukbang on eating of ekuru and ekor. So if you want to see how they eat ekuru and ekor, you can check that my video. I make video on mukbang on how to eat ekor and ekuru some years back. Wow. YouTube. No, it has been you guys. You have kept me moving. You have been the hair I've been breathing. And I always say thank you. Every time I remember what you're doing, I always say thank you. And I pray for every of my subscribers for your support at all time so like i was saying you don't add salt once you've mixed your beans very well you just wrap it up with the leaf you don't add salt you don't add anything nothing nothing it's tasteless that is how a curry is being prepared here in ibadan it's a street food and it's also a meal for a lot of ibadans so they enjoy it you see them selling on the streets of Ibadan, Ikuru and Eko. So they don't add salt. Kuru is a Nigerian food that you can enjoy any time of the day. You can either eat it in the morning, you can take it as lunch, you can take it as dinner. It's very, very, there's no time you cannot eat your Ikuru. It's a perfect meal. The thing about this Ikuru is, they will always say that this Ikuru is a good to appease the gods and you know if i give you some tales about this ekuru business you wonder how can people be so what they why they imagine things like this towards this ekuru and they believe those that are eating it <laughs> they also eat it to i don't know let me i don't i don't want to say what is not to be said here but a lot of things is being said about Ekuru. You can write it in the comment section. What they call Ekuru in your area. That is the white 
pins. And if you have also come across the uh, this other type of ikuru before, you can also write in the comment section. Let's know those of us that are real ogidio mo yoruba that really knows ikuru very well. Apart from those that have just been eating the white ikuru, that is the white moi moi. Those of us that knows the others ikuru very well. So after you've done the wrapping, you just put your stem on under the pots just for the pots not the moi moi not to get burned. The next thing you arrange your wrapped moi ikuru in your pot is something there's a special way you arrange it so that one it will not pour away then two the heat is going to circulate then when i'm done with that the remaining leaf the leftover leaf i use it as a cover to cover it very well so that it's going to get really steam so that is what that's why i'm using this leaf to cover the top part then you cover it and allow it to boil and to cook very well guys our ekuru now to know if you is ready you can see the leaves the color has changed the color this shows that is almost ready then our ekuru is ready now we are going to unravel the first the second type of ekuru which is not the one that is common this is ekuru alaro Wherever you get to, for those that are selling Ikuru, just tell them you want to buy Ikuru Alaru, and this is what you are going to be given. And this is the second, the first, the known Ikuru, Ikuru White. And this is Ikuru White. I'm trying to, this thing is very hot to Omo. The heat, eh? Not before here, because I brought it out like that from the pot, and it was very, very hot. But I was just like, oh, I have to share it and show it out to my beautiful people. Our ekurus is ekurus. <laughs> Our ekuru is ready. Ekuralaro lele. This is ekuralaro and the other white ekuru. So these are the two types of ekuru that we have, and they are ready. You can enjoy this ekuru with ekuru sauce. Ekuru sauce is easy to prepare, but I'm not sharing ekuru sauce today. All I just want to share with you is how to prepare the two types of acre thank you so much for watching today's video thank you for your love thank you for your support till i see you in my next video bye